Oh boy, here we go. Exorcist 2, is it good? Is it bad? Oh my goodness. Here we go. Drop it. everyone welcome back to flet's movies and pop culture 13 we discuss all movies i'm your host kyle curse flet today here we discuss Exorcist 2 is it good is it bad oh my goodness this is a bad movie one of the worst sequels of all time i don't even consider this a sequel to the actresses you go from that to this what the hell is going on this is definitely one of the worst movies ever made i don't know what the director and the producers were doing you already know this is a bad film from the first few minutes of the film you already see like one of the producers writing an insect it starts off an insect flying and you know one of them are writing it what the hell is that and then even the weird exorcist scene with richard burton richard burton's character the only thing i think is only the only thing the only thing i think that's really really good is the chemistry between linda blair and richard burton but even then, even though the chemistry's there, I still think Linda and Richard's talent are wasted in this film. Wasted. Wasted. This film is all over the place. It's all over the place. There's so many things in here that doesn't make any sense. And even this Sharon character, it's not even, it doesn't act like the same Sharon from the first film. And there's things in here that I know Sharon would not do. What the hell is this garbage? And, then, and there's even some weird scenes with... Either because it's so since Linda didn't want to put on the makeup again, they had to get a double, and the double was horrible. When they do the flashback scenes with Max's Paula Marin's character in the in Reagan's bedroom, um, the makeup is horrible and the acting is horrible, and the and two. Did, did these guys not watch the original actresses? Because they even messed up Reagan's bedroom. The, her bedroom doesn't look like that big of a bedroom. Because when you walk in on the right side of her bed, her there's a door right there. There's a, a closet door on the right side of her the, the door there. When you first walk in on the right side of her bed, there's a door right there. They messed up the look of the house too. They insulted the house as well. And this is poorly well written. And even the final act is all over the place. The final act's all over the place. I mean, horrible double. Um, I'm just like, that's a horrible stunt double right there. The third act's all over the place, especially when the aunt and Sharon's trying to get the Reagan, Reagan and um, Richard Burton's character are on, uh, are on the airplane and these friggin' insects go flying over the place. And to even before that, what is James Earl Jones doing in this? He even gets wasted in this film. All he does is just talk to talk to about insects and this and that. And they even they even make the demon a joke in this. They even make a de the, the demon a joke in this. I'm like, it's not scary at all. Um, I heard I heard there's a story that went around, I guess, at the premiere when the the premiere with the producers sat in the back, they told their limousine drivers. It's gonna be, be a while, so they told him to get they told him to get lunch or dinner at the McDonald's. So I guess during the film, people got up and said, This is garbage. And they said, Where are the producers? They're in the back. And they had to run. And since the limousine drivers weren't there, they had to run to McDonald's just to get away from the mob. Um, no, I just is too is not a sequel to the actresses. I don't care. They just all they did was use the actress's name for this. Um, I know there's people that enjoy it. That's fine. That's uh, all, all to it. All your power to it. Um, but to me, Exorcist Two is not a great film. It's a horrible film. It's one of the worst movies ever made. It's not a sequel to The Exorcist. Um, and there are just things in there that just doesn't make any sense all over the place. They, even this, this weird camel work in there too. It, the camel work's horrible. Um, 
And it's definitely a boring film. What a boring long film it is, too. It's it's a boring long film. There's there were scenes in there too. I'm just like, come on, go with it already. Go with it already. The, my goodness gracious, how are you like I said, how you go from a that film to this? What does this have to do with anything? Like I said, even the third act is when Sharon supposedly dies. Um, I think it's horrible. The final act's terrible, and to me. That's not that's not the sequel to that. Just, that ending, no, 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 no. The house is still standing. Um, everything's there. So that whole final act does not exist to me. That whole friggin' final act that was in the film does not exist to me. It's terrible. Um, they, there's so many decisions they made this film that just didn't make any sense, especially when I think when they're climbing on some of these rocks and when the fall was down. Where are they going? Like, where are they going? Where are they trying to get to? Um, and of course, I know they were trying to show Father Marin when he was in Africa, like 15 years, 12 years prior to, to the events of the original Exorcist. Um, even even some of those scenes were weird. Um, Max tried, Max tried very, very well to do so to, to, to do. They tried. It just that was just a bad script, bad decisions throughout this film. And even when um when Richard Burton's character sees um has this image has this image beginning in the, um I think it's aunt, the ants um wherever this psychology whatever type place or when she's trying to help Reagan you know we know what she's really doing um he has this image and there's fire and there's and it ends up being a fire in the basement um okay um like I said the chemistry is there but the whole entire cast is wasted in this bad direction, bad editing, bad writing. Um, thank God we, thank goodness we got Exorcist three. Um, to me, that's a proper seat. Exorcist three was way better film than this. That's um, that's an awesome film compared to this. Um, there's no jumps. There's no good scares. There's no scares at all. There's nothing that comes out that's really, really good. There's no scenes that really, really that 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 that. that it comes out that's really good. Uh, the actresses too, and even the score is not really that good either. I think the score is pretty bad. The score is pretty bad. Um, and, oh, even the title of this film makes me want to throw up. Um, so, because I'm not trying to say it, because there's things in here that don't make any sense. Um, and my goodness gracious this is not how you do a proper film through that just this and they made the demon a joke in this um it's a bad act, bad film in general for sure and spe especially because you can tell this is not the same people that made the actresses and thank goodness we got actresses three after this because what the heck this film this film gives a zero out of ten for me. It's a zero out of ten for me. There's no redeeming quality for me in, in this besides the chemistry between Linda and Bl Linda and Richard, even though their talents get wasted in this film. So there's no zero quality. I know there's I know this film's got its fans and that's fine, but I don't love it. I think that assist two is definitely one of the worst films ever made. And it's not to me, I know it's called one of the worst sequels, but to me it's not even a sequel. It's just it's just characters in it and it just doesn't make any sense so it's a bad film to me so all right guys let me go most comment below what you think about this abomination the actresses too if you enjoyed the video please like button subscribe miss when we awesome content like this i'll be back by the time this airs i'll be back by friday i'll be um yeah this will be arriving by tomorrow thursday will arrive this tomorrow thursday uh, but, but i'll be back friday we'll be doing a live stream on my channel at 2 p.m mountain time 4 p.m eastern i'll be ringing on nick cooling from the movie rank we'll be ranking all 18 john carpenter films so that's gonna be a blast and then of course on the sunday i'll be doing a double stream because i'll be doing a stream with did davy death ray will be discussing our top 10 scary moments in horror and then they, i think and then also bringing on cody snyder will be doing a Friday 13 part four stream that we originally had planned to do in april so um and Davy and Ant from the Davy and Ant from the Forgotten Horror Channel will be coming on on the 19th. We'll be um, discussing 
horror scenes that define the, the fine horror that made what a horror what it is today. So that's gonna be a blast. And of course, on the 20th, I'll be meeting on Michael Wolfman for Mega Movies. We'll be um ranking how all the Halloween films and Nightmare on Elm Street Friday 13th put together. So it's gonna be one huge ranking. So it's gonna mix up all movies together. It's gonna be a blast. I can't wait to do that. With that being said, for all watching, hope you amazing one day. We'll see you the one. Bye. Thank you.